Hey y'all, I'm back with a plan with you video and this is number 33 and this is for November 13th through the 19th. I have my planner pages out of my planner. If you're watching this for the first time, I have an A5 planner by Recollections and then I have the A5 um, inserts by Recollections as well. And that's just a Michaels brand and I purchased both the inserts and the uh, binder at Michaels. And I have to say just as a kind of a... Um, pre-brief, I guess, to this video. I really um, love this planner. I like that the pages are blank. One thing that I would change or it going forward is that it is hard to pre-plan um, like months ahead of time if unless you've predated all of your pages, um, which I guess if you just took the time to do it, it would be okay. <clears throat> but that is one thing that I would change in the future is I know inserts are meant to like do whatever you want to them and alter them in any way you want and add your own dates and that kind of thing, which have, has been really great. Um, the only thing that I would say is tough is just the fact that it's, you know, going ahead of time and pre-planning. So um, I have toyed with the idea of uh, going back to doing my process videos in a class, or not going back, starting doing my process videos in a classic planner. But I want to finish out this one throughout the, at least through the end of the year um, and just kind of see how it works for me. And like I said, I really love the, the fact that it's like a blank canvas. There's not any color schemes. Um, I think that that's great because then you can really just alter it any way that you want. So I'm using lots of stickers by the Happy Planner. Pretty much all the stickers that I use are by the Happy Planner with the exception of some Pick Monkey stickers that I've created um, or some stickers I've created on the Pick Monkey website. Um, and I'll, I always link that video down below if I mention it. I'll link it down below so you can see how I created some of those stickers and put them in my silhouette and got them to print and cut. I also have some stickers from um, both, I think it's, I know it's JS Digital Paper or JS Designs or something like that, and then Aaron Bradley, I believe. And so I normally link those two videos, or those, not videos, those two sites down below too, because I normally pull from one of those. And those are all stickers. I think the majority of the ones that they sell on those two sites are ones that you can just download and print and cut. So if you have a silhouette, even if you don't, you could, I guess you could fussy cut them. I wouldn't take the time to do it, but some people like to do that. So. But if you have a silhou silhouette, it makes it super easy, um, or, a can or a, what's the other one called? A Cricut. If you have either one of those, I think that it makes it pretty easy to print and cut. So I'm kind of moving all over the page. I wanted to get the balance of the color right, um, and so sometimes I don't work perfectly in order. If I do have tasks, I normally go ahead and write those down. I don't want to say I normally do that. I'm really kind of all over the place. I will write important things down the majority of the time, um, but in the, I save a lot of times I save like the decorating for the end, um, or at least like the addition uh, as far as like the embellishing. But I did want to add those leaves at the beginning because it is a fall month, and I also um, have some blank space that I want to add some bigger things as well. And so I'm really loving the way that it's looking so far. I'm totally going to have to print more of those meeting and HKC project stickers because I love the boldness. It's a, I'll have to um, see if I can find the font, but it's a font that I have either, that's either on PicMonkey or that I found online. And I just simply um, wrote a bunch of words, put it in the silhouette, print and cut. And again, I'll have that video linked down below on how I did some of that. Um, it's not the exact video of how I did those, but it's very similar. And so you guys can check that out. And I'm trying to think what else. I'm using a little planner or a little like journal sticker to put that I need to upload my plan with me video, which I'm just super behind on. And then um, I'm going to use these stamps by Studio Calico. They have a lot of cute little fall icons like an apple and a pumpkin and um, sweater weather and that kind of thing. And I'm simply just going to get out some of my inks um, this is actually, I think, the first time I'm using a pigment ink on these pages. Let me know what you guys think about pigment versus um, alcohol inks on planner pages. I know a lot of people don't use alcohol because of the fact that it goes through the page. Um, I don't see a huge problem with it. In fact, when I turn it over, I don't, it, I don't, it doesn't catch my eye as far as like the shadowing or the the bleed um, through. But 
Uh, I prefer alcohol just because it doesn't smear and I'm super impatient. But I did use a Avery L pigment ink for the first time. Those stay wet for quite a while, and so it was actually a risk doing that. Um, but it's my only ink that I have in orange, so that's what so I wanted to pull that. But I do love the addition that these stamps gave this page. Like I think it really made a big difference. Um, it added some smaller elements, and it also added like some pops of color here and there. I'm gonna add some gold washi just kind of around the page. Um, I like the way that looked, just kind of gave a little pop of gold there. You can see that kind of like glisten in the light. And then I am looking for it in my label box, which I know you guys are going to think I'm crazy for saying this, but I feel like I need to print and cut several more because I'm, um, I have a lot of long skinny ones, but I don't have like a ton of like more rectangular squarish ones that would fit in these boxes. And I, I think I need to uh, look in my stash or look in my, on my computer and see what I have left as far as those print cut. Those are from uh, Caitlin Schaefer or Studio Calico and I'll always link that down below as well. That is my page for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this process. Let me know about the inks, which ones you prefer on your planner pages and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.